In today's video, we're going to show you how you can bench press with the bar this low. Hmm. Right after this. everyone, this is Stevie Richards, and yes, we are going to show you a floor press variation using the barbell. We already have a video using dumbbells. It's been pretty popular here on the YouTube channel, so I decided to record a video and upload it about the barbell. So there's a few different things that you'd have to obviously prepare for before you do this lift. One thing which I kind of guesstimated is where you're going to be on the rack and where the barbell is going to sit. It's all going to be according to your height, your arm length, all that stuff. So we may not get it perfect. We're, we'll adjust it as we need to do that. Very important to get that number right. Write it down just like you do if you're going to do anything with a power rack. I usually write the number down where I'm at. I did not write the number down for this. So, <laughs> And this is a new rack. This is the folding my rack. So I'm still uh, acclimating myself to this from the Monster G6, which has you know, different height and spacing, stuff like that. So we're going to show you this here. And uh, this is a deload week for me. So I'm not going to go very high. Actually, I worked out already. Can you tell if I hadn't worked out and I'm this sweaty, I'm in a lot of trouble. But uh, it's a deload week. So it's fairly light. Uh, but you could go heavy with this much like with the dumbbells, because you have the floor to pretty much determine your range. It's almost like having a spotter with that. So you could go heavy, but as in any case, if you have a spotter, use one, be careful, do not uh, drop the barbell or any sort of weight on your throat or chest. Uh, I'm mindful of that from throat surgery, so maybe other people aren't. So we're going to basically put on no weight right now. We're going to go down here onto the floor, and this is probably going to be followed up with steam cleaning your gym floor because I'm very sweaty. And I just got to line myself up right here. I have a, a motto lift uh, from Force USA that I also use, uh, and you can use that here, but obviously the number is going to be different in that case as well. What we have here are the J hooks. We, these are the deluxe version, the standard J hooks with racks are usually about the same. All right, so see, it's a little bit close to here. So what I want to do is I want to drop it down one notch. And if you add the weight on, it'll make it very difficult to do that. So one notch right here, and then one notch down here. So I have to remember putting it in 22 on each side. I have to write that on the chalkboard, which I'll probably forget. We all, I always say I'm going to do that, and I don't. All right, here we go. I'm going to mark it off here, come down right here. Now, I also have a football bar, Swiss ball or multi-grip barbell, whatever you want to call it, that will enable me to be at a 45 degree angle with a different grip. This is going to be much different with a straight bar because you don't have those choices, those options with this. But I can rack it pretty easily. I can even come out a little bit here. I'm right underneath it. I just got to figure out where I need to be as I make a sweat angel on the uh, gym floor and come up. Now you see how the floor stops me right there and come up. And I'm going to add a little bit of weight on that, add like 10 kilograms on each side, get up very carefully. Oh, wait a minute, I got to show you this. <laughs> that is a, uh, <laughs> that is going to be the thumbnail. I'm taking pictures of that. So now let's get the 10 kilogram plates. The inadvertent thumbnail. <laughs> That's always good. Just going to add a little bit of weight to here just so I can get a better feel for it. But once again, my range is not going to change. That rhymes. I got all sorts of goofy organic stuff going on here. Here we go. Now I can use a collar. Obviously, if I add more weight on, I'm going to use a collar. But for this particular weight, I should be okay. Whoops, I've messed up my breathing. Crack. I got to put my head back on the floor. I can do that pause. See, there's no momentum involved with this off the floor, much like the dumbbell video that I did. No momentum. You can't bounce it off your chest. You can't do a bunch of that kabuki-ish stuff. You just got to use a press right from there. 
and that is uh, when you're not using momentum, much like with the resistance bands and other things like that, it's always a good thing. It makes it much harder, much more difficult, but get much more out of it and also less impact, a less momentum and impact on your joints as well. So, hi Mia. My little Mia's watching me. You wanna be in the video? Come here. Oh, she ran away. All right, she's telling me that the video is over. Stop doing it, daddy. And she's looking, she wants her food. So that's about it, guys. Please like this video, comment below, subscribe here to the YouTube channel. And like I said before, use what you have. If you don't have any of this or you can't afford it or you don't have the room, I was there once. I'm really blessed to have a home gym right now. But for the longest time, I used nothing but resistance bands on the road when I wrestled for WWE. I continue to use resistance bands to this day. I really do prefer them, especially the weather's getting nicer and hotter out. People are allowed to go out. So going outside, getting a good resistance fan workout is awesome. So check out stevierichardsfitness.com for those resistance fan training programs that I created and developed. It's 12 week, 16 week. Also, we have full body workout videos. We have bonus content with each program. The 12 and 16 week programs both have bonus content. Check it out if you have any questions or comments. Feel free to email me, stevierichardsfitness at gmail.com. And that chasing me in, in that short uh, distance blew me up because I'm a little sweaty. So I need to get back on cardio and get myself in better condition. Thank you guys. God bless you. Have a great day.